We could not have written a more perfect song for our party on the plaza if we tried it ourselves. We are heating it up right now with a sizzling summer classic, the clam bake. This morning, Chef is definitely up to the challenge. He's Alan Susser, executive chef and owner of Chef Allen's in Aventura, Florida. We challenge him to come up here to New York to create the ultimate clam bake for eight for less than our shoestring budget of $70. Great to have you with us this oh, morning. Oh, it's a pleasure to be up here. And this is yeah. really, a, not only is it quintessential New England for a New England girl, I must say, but this really does scream Good. 4th of July. Tell us what's on the menu for our clam bake. Good. This is definitely 4th of July. It's grilled lobster and corn on the cob, all on the, the grill. Then we've got a clam bake with a chorizo. We've got also an apple pie with apple pie. a la mode. Oh, now and, you're speaking my language. And also a cranberry iced tea. Okay, time so. for us to dig in. So we'll start off with okay. the lobster, or as some people in my family would say, lobster. Yeah. <laughs> and this lobster's already being cooked. We're gonna grill it, but you quickly boiled it. Right, we quickly boil it for about three minutes just to set the, set the meat. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is get uh, cutting on this. So what we do is set this up to cut the tail. Okay. Cut that in half and then flip it over so we can get in. Down the center? Right down the center like okay. that. Okay. So that's kind of what we do. And Cut it. Gonna bring that over. And this we're gonna actually, I've never had grilled lobster. Yeah, this is delicious. This is really gonna be good. So what we're gonna do is put these lobsters on. Shell side down. Shell side down because what you wanna do is get all this goodness that cooks in the shell so you right. don't lose all that liquid. And just going to Put a little, little bit, bit of olive, olive oil, oil on that, hurts. okay? And that's kind of how we're gonna set it. You set it off to begin with over the, the heat. You see how this is bubbling away over here? Right. That's exactly what you wanna and do. And that's so kind of how we know it's done once it's right. over there. About so, how long? Is this about 10 minutes? It's about 10 minutes on, okay. on the grill. So we're gonna take a couple of these off All so right. we get a little taste on that. We'll dig into those in a second. Okay, and also corn, the okay? The corn I noticed, okay, so you know, I, I actually grill my corn a lot, but I always soak it. I pull the silk out, soak it in the sinking water, but keep the husk on. I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, well, you yes. can, but uh, you, we pulled out the it silk out of that. Yes, yeah. So exactly. we don't even need to do that. Good, I eliminated so, a step. There you go. Grilled corn doesn't Grilled get much corn. better. Thank so we've got these two parts to our equation, but the actual clam bake, which is sort of the piece de resistance here, if you will, a lot of times people tend to do this with seaweed. That's right. The traditional Not practical right. in some areas. Well, you know, a traditional clam bake is done with seaweed. We, uh, the, it goes back to the days of the Indians, way back to the colonial days, even before that. And they would heat up the rocks on the beach, uh, make a, a, a sand pit sort of, or a rock pit, make a big barn fire, let that cook off. Yep. And then when the, you have the, the rocks hot, then you take a big bowl of seaweed, put it on, the, the hot rocks. Then you'd put the, the, the clams on, the, the clams. lobsters, the sausages, the potatoes, everything that comes onto a, a clam bake. This is like a it all fantastic. Kind of in there. Yeah, it's a fantastic picnic. It uh, this is. is a seafood we did those picnic. up on vacation in Maine. But if you can't do that, you can really do, um, it's not even Good. a four man's clam bake, it's fantastic. So you've got some onions sweating in a pan here with a little onions bit of olive oil. And a little garlic. A little so garlic. I'm going to ask you to help me, okay? In the a little bit of a chorizo, chorizo to start off with. Gives you some nice flavor. Okay. Okay, chorizo is flavor as well as color yep. and texture. That's kind of all the things that you always want to have. And some little potatoes, in. yeah. There we go. Exactly. And you've got both mussels and clams here. Right. And, and you know what? You can really put into a, a clam bake, you can put any kind of Anything shellfish. You, you can use different types of mussels, different types of clams, uh, you know, steamer clams. Can I throw these in? Yes, let's so put those. So we've only got a little less than a minute left, so we throw okay. these in. This put is that in. Easy, by the way. A little bit of wine you've got there. How and much? a little bit of wine. Probably about a cup or so of wine, so just like just that. So probably just enough to cover the bottom there, right? Summer. Exactly, and season that up. A little bit of sea salt. And then what we're going to do is, yeah, if you would, through the magic, we're going to cover. Ooh, we'll cover this one. This one here. And inhale deeply exactly. over here. Oh, there you fantastic. are. Fantastic. So, so how long does this cook for? This takes about ten minutes to cook. That's and, it. Yeah, because I'm stealing a muscle. Is there that you right? go. Okay. Well, let's uh, scoop that all up because what we could do is scoop some into the bowl. Scoop it so right everyone here. Can, oh, this yeah. Is great. Yeah. So make sure you get a and little bit of this each. This is it. Ten minutes right. for the lobster. Ten minutes for the clam bake. Right. And that's Chef if you're Alan, doing you're it hired. in your backyard like this. Okay. <laughs> that's the idea. You know, all you right. want to be wonderful and fresh, and just all the flavors meld together. Mm. So right. good. It's a nice little touch of wine there. Good. Apple pie. You can pretty much do this any way you want. 
with the ice cream. It doesn't get much better than that. It's, apple, it's yeah. American's apple pie, right? That's so what 4th of July is all about. You, know, you should have comfort foods, easy to do, so that everybody's at home celebrating. Bring the family together. And enjoying themselves. You also exactly. want to have a good beer because we learned this is yes. the biggest beer holiday. So Ray Isle is back now okay. with the perfect beer, beer for yep. our clam bake, which uh, is... We I'm going to go with a lager, Sam Adams. <laughs> or Sam. Perfect. You know, it's, a, well, it's the perfect beer, especially because it's a, you know, Sam. New England oh, clam bake. You know. All right. There you go. Yeah. The Irish guy maybe could just rip go. the top uh, yeah, off exactly. on his own. We're used to that. Uh, no uh, using uh, uh, and one for the chef. Uh, got to have one for the chef. Uh, there you go. Okay. For the recipe, of course, you can find it at our website, cbsnews.com slash Saturday. This is a perfect opportunity to taste, to toast not only the nation's birthday, but also... Oh, Priya David. Oh. How are you, Priya? <laughs> Engaged oh, yesterday. The question is, how much longer will we be calling her Priya David? Oh! oh. <laughs> Alex, where are you, honey? Congratulations. 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 Congratul